tap the settings icon and you'll find the workspace settings, where you can browse through various grid types for things like writing, drafting, or drawing in perspective. Tap on a grid type to activate it, and tap on the active grid to make adjustments. Certain grids have a selection of presets to choose from, or you can apply your own custom settings, which we'll cover in another video. The units are based on the display units of your workspace. In this case, I'm using millimeters. If you prefer not to use a grid, you can tap No Grid to toggle it off. Or you can toggle the grid via the precision menu, which can be opened by tapping the grid-like icon up here. The precision menu is where all precision-related tools live. Once the grid is activated, your previously used grid layout will appear on the canvas. In case you want to change the grid type, tap the name of the grid to open your workspace settings again. If you're used to using a layer-based approach, you can also turn off the grid by hiding the grid layer in the Layers panel. The grid can also act as a sort of ruler if you toggle on Snap, which by default will align your strokes with the active grid. This behavior can be tweaked under Options. Finally, once you're ready to export, you have the option to choose whether or not to include the grid in your exported image. 